Hi, my name is Rory Clements and I work in VMware's end user computing team. Now today I wanted to show you a really quick demo of how you can use VMware app volumes in your Citrix Zen app and Zen desktop environments. Okay, so let's just dive straight into the demo. You'll see that I'm here on my app volumes management console and I've got a couple of different app stacks set up already. I've got Adobe Acrobat Reader and I've got it set up for deployment onto Windows 10 desktops and also for Windows Server 2012. And that's how I can deploy the app to my Zen desktop VMs and also to my Zen app RDS host as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna do this assignment in a couple of different ways. For the Win10 app stack, I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna assign this to our test user, John Smith. So you see, as usual, we'll go into the AD, search the username and click assign, and I get presented with the usual choice of, do I wanna attach app stacks on login or reboot, or do I wanna do it immediately? And for this case, I'm gonna do it on login or reboot. And now a slightly different assignment for the other app stack of Adobe Reader. I'm gonna assign this app stack to the actual RDS host that is my Zen app server. So I'm gonna go into assign here, and I'm gonna find my server, which is called CTX apps one, and I could go in and search this again in the active directory, select it here, click assign, and do the same assignment to say, attach the app stacks on the next login or reboot. Now for the Zen desktop, the application is just gonna pop up on the desktop when the user logs in. But for the Zen app server, I actually need to do one more step and I need to go ahead and publish the app in my Zen app farm, just as I would a normal application. So I'm just gonna fire up my Citrix Studio app here and go into the application configuration. So here's my applications in the farm. And now I actually need to go ahead and add a new application in here from the app stack that we've just attached to the RDS host. So I'll just go into the add applications wizard. I'll select my delivery group that is normal here, which contains the uh, server that I assigned the app stack to. And I'm gonna add the shortcut, uh, in this case, just from the start menu. You'll see here, I'll go ahead and enumerate all the apps that are attached. And there's Adobe Reader at the top, which is from the app stack that we just assigned. And we're just gonna say, okay. Click on next, click on finish, and that's the application published in the farm. So that's all the admin stuff done, pretty straightforward. Now let's go and check out and see if it works. So the first thing I've got to do is fire up my storefront so I can log in. I'm gonna log in as our uh, lab user, which is John Smith. Pop in my password and hit log on, and here I am. So now let's go uh, first to the app side and check out and see what's there. So there's the application we just published from the app stack. I'm gonna launch that, you see it's firing up receiver, and there's Acrobat in full screen, running as a Zen app published app. Awesome, so let's close that down. Now let's check out the desktop side. So first off, we'll try the published desktop. Click that and log in, I'm already here on my start. So let's go into the apps menu and there's Acrobat Reader that's being provided as an app stack. And now let's go finally into the Win10 desktop. So we'll launch that here. And we see right there on the Windows 10 desktop, there's my Acrobat Reader that's being provided as an app stack. So awesome, that was really easy to set up. So that all works great. So that was just a really quick and easy demo to show you guys how you can take VMware app volumes, create app stacks, and use user assignment as well as machine-based assignment to publish those applications on your Zen app farms and also assign those applications to your Zen desktop, desktop VMs as well. So thanks for watching, and if you need any other info, check out the VMware website.